Good day everybody, this is Nelka again and another question from our YouTube subscriber and his name is pa Pablo Andres. He asked me about how to calculate the observer of the road and I told him um, to add observer in your calculation options but I think my answer is not complete so I will make a video for him. So how to do that? How to add observer on the road? Actually, in the regular dialogs, there's already a default observer. And I think it's a 21-year-old driver or observer. Okay. So let's go and check that one. If you are very new here, you can go and subscribe in this YouTube channel. And if you are not new, then just go on and keep watching. So I will open now. Uh, this new street project and I will just uh, add any um, street light I have here in my history and then I will just go and show you where this observer is located so this is now my street lighting okay and then go to your um, okay not there it's in the roadway tab yes just click on this roadway tab and then here on the top you can find this observer the default in the last evo is uh, 23 years old yeah it's not 21 it's 23 years old and if you change that one for example you can see the observer here is 5.2 and 1.5 and let's see if we change it into say uh, 60 years old <laughs> let's see what will happen okay so the so observer observer one is 23 and the other observer number two is 60 and let's see in the calculation report what will happen and surfaces coating and everything is fine so yeah is there any other option okay so let's go and calculate and see the report of these two observer later on Okay, so it's calculated. So let's go to the report. I did not optimize the spacing and height of the luminaire. So I'll just go and check it. So, evaluation field. Let's go to the results overview. Okay, we did not receive or achieve the overall uniformity or TI. And TI. So, but here in the observer, I have um, observer 1 has this and observe observer 2 has this result okay and if you want to see the um, a detailed report for that one is go and check this observer tab and you can see the observer 1 also did not achieve the overall uniformity and ti uh, while on the observer 2 is wow it's achieved okay so you can see Ah, alright, because the observer 1 is on the left and observer 2 is on the right. I don't think there is difference in the age of the observer. It doesn't change anything. And let's go and uh, edit that observer again. Say you want to change the observer, both observer into 60 years old. If it's changed anything, yes, and let's run it again. And let's go to the output valuation field, go back to the observer, observer one, and observer two. Okay, so it doesn't change anything, it's still the same. It's just so happened that observer one is on this uh, upper lane, and the observer two is on this lower lane. Observe one, observer 1 is on the lower lane and observer 2 is on the upper lane. That's why the other one achieved. So I don't think that it will affect. I don't know if Dialux check this one. So if you have, you can, you can have the observer both for 23 years old or 60 years old and it doesn't change anything. It should have an effect. But it shows here that it doesn't ha affect anything. So that's it. And I hope you learned something tonight. And we can check that one on the dialog team why it's not changing anything. Okay, let's go and uh, check in the Evo. 
because I checked before we start this video about this observer and I, I cannot find the observer option in Dialux Evo Street Lighting. So I can maybe open this one as a question in uh, with the Dialux team. So maybe they have their answer separately. Okay. Alright. So that's it for now. And um, Pablo, that is the only answer I can give you. In Dialux Regular, you can find the observer here. But even if you change the age, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. And for the Dialux Evo, it doesn't reflect or you cannot see the observer option so what i will do is i will send an email to the dialux team about this observer okay and you can see the report of this observer in the uh, dialux regular you see if you go to the output and you see the value chart yeah it's like this similar to the regular calculation is the view of the observer some achieve some are not and uh, if you want to make sure that everything is achieved go and change this pole height for example in six meters and let's say the boom length is uh, 0.5 and let's see if i achieve the, the the lighting requirements and if it affects the okay still my uniformity is not good maybe i can tilt my um boom angle into 5 degree yes and I will uh, close my whole distance 1 meter away from the road and let's see how it goes so let's see what is the result okay the only problem now is the TI and let's see if it affects the observer report okay it's also the TI but this one is okay okay so that's it and uh, i hope you learned something about this road lighting observer and if you want to enroll in my lighting design courses online go and check in uh, check it here in udemy.com www.udemy.com and if you want to have an official certification from dialux uh, you can go and enroll again in my online courses or classroom courses at www.enrocolightingdesign.com. Okay, see you in this online training or classroom training. Bye-bye.